Hey everybody, what's up? It's me, Darren. And today, I'm back in St. Francisville, Louisiana. We are at Afton Villa Gardens. So I had never heard of Afton Villa Gardens until a few weeks ago. A friend of mine posted some beautiful pictures on her page from this area. And I thought, since some of you love St. Francisville so much, that we might as well come out here and check it out for ourselves. There used to be a huge gothic antebellum mansion on the property and that burned down around 1962 and the whole area was in disarray for several years until the new owners decided to renovate the gardens and make them available to the public so here we are here's a lake that's also on the property little pond Do you remember when I told you that there was once a gothic mansion that stood on the property? We can still see some of the ruins of the original construction. There are stairways that go to nowhere and some of the walls are still standing. Now it's a relaxing part of the tour decorated with seating and floral arrangements. It's a nice place to sit and congregate so let's take a load off here and enjoy some of this ambiance. Right now I'm in the middle of this geometric well manicured garden and we're by this sundial right in the center and I think this would be a great place to take a 360 degree photo. I have my 360 degree camera and it's on an extended selfie stick so what I'm going to do is hold it straight up in the air and if it comes out good I'll put it in the video for you. All right, I think this is another great spot to try a 360 degree photo. I'm in the center of a maze made out of hedges and right in the middle of that is this tidy little statue. So I think if I do the same thing and hold the camera straight up in the air to take a photo, it may come out interesting. And if it does, you'll see that one as well. Back in the old days when people owned a large bit of property like this, the family always wanted to be buried on it. So there's also a tiny little graveyard back here.
And so when I saw this gravestone, I originally thought it was a baby's grave. But come to find out, this is the dog. They put a little marker on the family dog's grave. All right, well, we're gonna end it here at the Bourne area. I don't know if this is part of the historical property, but it's obviously a still active Bourne. They still keep it all decorated with flowers though, so that's, that's really nice. Anyway, if you enjoyed Afton Villa Gardens in St. Francisville, make sure to do what guys? Hit that subscribe button. And if you already do subscribe, like the video and if you do both of those two things you could always leave me a comment thanks guys thank you so much for watching i love each and every one of you so much and i'll see you on the next one